Welcome to the channel, everybody. I am glad that you found me. Five years ago, I invested in the newly released Fuji GFX system. One of the lenses that I purchased was the Fuji GF120 F4 macro lens. Now, I can't believe that it's been five years. It has gone by so fast. But has this lens lived up to my expectations of when I bought it? The only way for me to answer whether it lived up to my expectations or not is to tell you what I like about the lens what I, and what I don't like about the lens. So stick with me. All right, let's start with the lens itself. The Fuji GF120 lens has an F4 aperture has image stabilization, and is a macro-capable lens. This was really big at the time because it was the only macro lens in Fuji's lineup, and it was the only lens with image stabilization. The lens itself is everything I could ask for from a build quality. Next, let's talk about the choices in this focal range. So let's just start with the elephant in the room. The GF-110 versus the GF-120. Fuji came out with these two lenses and released them early on when they released the medium format system. On the surface of things, these two lenses seem very, very similar and very close in focal range. But in reality, they are very different lenses. But at the time, I had a really hard choice to make because I could only afford to get one of them. So how did I choose? Well, I chose the 120, even though it's a little bit slower lens at f4 versus f2 with the 110, because it had the image stabilization and it was also macro capable. Also at the time, I was not shooting a lot of portraits, which is where the 110 really, really shines. So just to be honest, I could take these two lenses and do a complete video on how both of them can fit into a photographer's bag because they really are so different. But I ended up with the 120 and I've never regretted it since. Now let's talk about the all important image quality. Let's just say the images from this lens are amazing. I have used this lens to shoot commercial shoots. I've used it on weddings. I've used it to take portraits. I've used it for tight landscapes. This lens is super, super versatile. The IS gives it a ton of options for low light. Notice here in this image that I shot at a wedding, nice and sharp, soft background. It does great. And again, the IS it, for me is super helpful when you're talking about shooting in low light situations. The macro function is also really good because it allows you to get in tight and get some really cool shots that you can't quite get with some of the other lenses in this focal range. So again, I will say, this lens produces amazing, sharp, consistently good images. So let's talk about some of the things that I dislike about this lens. Well, honestly, there is not much that I don't like about this lens, so I'm really struggling to come up with something that I dislike. And so if I had to pick something, this lens is pretty big already and it's pretty heavy. So a little bit of extra weight wouldn't have bothered me very much. And it would have been great if this lens could have been an F 3.5 or even an F 2.8. That would have given even more opportunity with that macro and shallow depth of field. But again, there's not much about this lens that I dislike and having more light is, you know, always better, but always comes at additional cost. So overall, there is just not much to not like about this lens. So was it 
or is it worth the price? So this lens is not an inexpensive lens at $2,700. Five years ago, that was a lot of money and it's still a lot of money today. I can tell you that I have pulled this lens out of my bag so many times on so many shoots and it has never let me down. And after five years, it is still going strong and I could totally see getting another five years out of this lens. With that in mind, if I had to go back today and I know what I know now, would I buy this lens again? Definitely I would buy this lens again. I would not hesitate to go and buy this lens again. For me, this was a great purchase. It has helped me. It has uh, given me a lot of opportunity with my photography business and I've taken a lot of amazing images with it. So I hope you got some insights about the Fuji GF120 F4 macro lens. I have used this lens many, many times. It is a workhorse lens for me and it never lets me down. I find it to be a very useful and versatile lens. It does so many things very, very well that it is a lens that always stays in my bag. All right, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you sticking with me. If you like this content, do not forget to hit the thumbs up below. And if you wanna see more content, make sure to subscribe. Also, I wanna hear from you. What is your experience with the GF120? Uh, Are you thinking about buying it? Do you have questions? Let me hear about it in the comments below. And until next time, enjoy your photography journey.